Hello, this is John, N5ID. I wanted to take a few minutes to show you how I optimized my Yaesu FT710 for CW operation. To begin with, I'm going to hit the DSP knob, and my width is set on 1200 hertz. You can change that by pressing the knob and changing it to the width that you desire. I started with 1200 hertz because I like a little wider bandwidth when I'm tuning around. We can easily narrow that down using the narrow button or by changing the width in the DSP function. Now, another thing I want to show you is the APF. What a great feature. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you where you would start off at. Normally, when you hit the DSP button, contour comes up first. And so to get to APF, I don't like this about the radio. It's a little cumbersome. You have to hit, it, hit the button again, and then you're on the APF feature. Now I want to show you how well APF works. We'll find a signal. I think there's a contest going on and people are calling CQ for short periods of time. First thing I'm going to do is use the Zen button to zero in on that signal. What a great feature this is on the radio. I want to tune a little bit off frequency. If the signal's too weak, it will not zero in. There it goes. It zeroed in on it then. Now let me show you how well the APF works on this radio. See how it melts the noise away? That is one great feature, the audio peak filter for CW on the ASU FT710. I want to show you one more thing about APF. See, it's off now because I hit the button, but if you just momentarily punch the APF button, it turns it off and goes back to contour. If you want to stay on APF and not go back to contour, I'm going to punch the button, turn APF on. To turn it off, I'm going to long hold the DSP button until I hear a beep, and then I'm going to let up, and each time I go back in, APF will be there, and I won't have to go through contour in order to get to APF. Now, let me show you a few of the features that I set up, a few of the functions that I set up for CW on my radio, and hopefully this will help you. I call this the main menu. You hit the function button, and you get the various options that you can change. For instance, uh, the Vox gain, the Vox delay, anti-Vox, here's your power level, monitor level. That's uh, actually your CW side tone level when you're in CW mode. Here's where you turn your keyer on and off. Here's where you turn your break in on and off. Set your CW speed, your pitch. I set my pitch on 700 hertz and your break in delay. I've not tried operating QSK with this radio. I'm just not a fan of QSK. I know a lot of people are. I will say on my Omni 7 the QSK works Great. Now let me just show you a few of the options that you may need to change on the radio. Let's go into operation settings and let's go to receive DSP. Now in here I left the noise blanker width, the noise blanker rejection, and IF, uh, IF notch width. I left that all at the default settings and APF width, this is how narrow you want your APF filter to function at. You can change that from medium to narrow or wide. I left mine on medium. Uh, if it's a really a weak signal that you need to pull out of there and there's some close nearby stations, then you might want to change that to narrow. The other thing I want you to notice here is the contour level and contour width. 
I did another video and I encourage you to watch it on noise reduction and contour and how to set that up. I'm not going to go into that on this particular uh, video. You can watch my other video on that. Now I'm going to go back and go to CW settings. And here you start off with mode CW. I leave the uh, receive equalizer all flat. Most of the options in here I left at the default and did not change them. Uh, one thing to note here, the narrow width in this particular menu, that is the width that you want the radio to change to when you hit your narrow button on the radio. Uh, default is 250 hertz. You can change that to what you like. One other note, once you hit the narrow button, you can go back and use the DSP knob to even make that more narrow. You can go down to 50 hertz if you want to. Uh, and it's a great CW radio. I would encourage anyone that loves CW to try this particular radio out. Another thing that I want to show you, a great feature of this radio, is the memory keyer in the radio. You can actually use this to send CQ, QRL, you can use it to send your, your QTH, your name. You can set up all kinds of memories in here. And to do that, you hit the message button. And this takes you to your memory screen. Now, I already have CQ uh, programmed in to memory channel one. And I have QRL is the frequency busy programmed them to memory channel two. And to program these memory channels, it's, it's fairly simple. And I will need to go back and show you whether you set up the memory channel for uh, text messages. It, it, this one's set up for text. And to change that, you hit memory and then punch on the memory channel you want to change. And you can actually enter the text in here uh, that you want to send. Now, to call CQ, I like using my keyer. So I set up memory channel one to call CQ. Uh, one thing I need to do before I, before I show you how this works, is I need to change my break end off so I'm not sending anything out over the air. And let's go back here. Um, let's go back into CW settings and the keyer. While we're here, this is where you set up your keyer type. Uh, and if you want to change your weight. But what I want you to see here, this is where you actually set up the memory channels, whether you want to use your keyer. If it says message, you're using your key or your straight key to enter uh, your QTH or calling CQ. If you set the channel at text, that's where you can enter the text manually. Now let's go back out of this and let me show you how the memory keyer works. Again, you hit message. If I wanted to change that text or enter new text, I would hit memory. I didn't actually hit memory first. There we go. I am sorry, I'm not getting memory punched like I should. There we go. Okay, that's where we can actually enter the text that we want to send out over the air. I'm not going to change that because uh, I already have QRL in that memory channel. If I want to manually, uh, using the keyer, enter something into a channel, and I already have CQ on memory channel one, I'm going to show you how you would set up a different memory channel. I'm going to hit memory and I'm going to use memory channel three. And once you're done, you punch the memory button again. And then to hear the memory channel, you simply touch on it or to play it back over the air, you touch on it. Well, 
that's a great feature in the radio. Love the memory keyer. I love the Zen, the zero in feature, the zero in on a signal. Uh, I love the narrow feature. Let's get on another QSO here. We'll back out of this. And we'll pull up CW signal. I just hit the narrow button that narrowed it down to 250 hertz and you can tell a lot of the noise went away and really highlighted that signal narrow off narrow on that's all I'm going to include in this video I hope this helps you with the basics of setting up CW I feel like I fumbled through this video I apologize for that I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you and God bless.